If you're an entrepreneur in BC, sign up for Canada's Trade Accelerator Program and extend your company's global reach. We help you scale up, develop, and activate an export plan designed to grow your full export potential. The Trade Accelerator Program gives BC-based businesses the training and support needed to become a successful exporter. Go to www.wtcvancouver.ca slash tap and find out more. Welcome to Canada's podcast, the number one podcast for entrepreneurs by entrepreneurs. Hello, this is Robert Smigel with Canada's podcast, where we talk to the entrepreneurs who are making it happen here in British Columbia. Mark Semek is the owner of Red Square Bakery and Powerflax Holdings in Burnaby, BC. He started the company in 1990, manufacturing authentic Russian food products. That include Poroshki, Veronica, and others. 20 years ago, he invented diabetic-friendly keto Powerflax baking mix and started producing keto-baked products, breads, buns, waffles, cinnamon buns, and lots more. They currently produce over 140 products, helping their clients to overcome autoimmune system disorders with Keto Powerflax Healing Food Regiment. Welcome, Mark, to Canada's podcast. Thanks for taking the time today to be here for all our listeners. Thank you, Robert. What a fantastic introduction. I couldn't have done it myself. I think you're (laughs) going to be on the board of directors for marketing on behalf of our company. That's it. You've got the seat in our office now, forever. Okay, so let's take it back a bit. Uh, Tell us about the beginnings, where you came from, how you got started, all that great stuff that we want to hear about. Well, it's only 61 years, and we're going to just describe it in 30 to 40 minutes. I was born in uh, 1960 in Siberia, city of Kemerova. Uh, It's a mining capital, and, uh, you know, basically lived there for about seven, eight years, moved to Asian part of Russia with my family, then the last six years, we lived in Lithuania. And in 1979, we immigrated and came to Canada. And of course, uh, no money, no business, no work, not much English. So we had to go to school, learn the language. I went to UBC, uh, went to BCIT, got my degrees and diplomas, uh, started working uh, in construction industry. That's my initial occupation. And then uh, later on, we founded uh, Red Square Bakery in 1990 and started producing authentic Russian food goods and uh, selling it to local supermarkets. And in the uh, year 2000, we invented uh, the Power Flux baking mix, which is low carbohydrate, low glycemic index for diabetics and for people who want to drop a few pounds or people with autoimmune system disorders uh, put my mom uh, on the regimen, myself. Uh, My mom um, in 2002 suffered with a tremendous stroke, was paralyzed. And that's how I invented actually the product to help her to regain uh, health and movement. A year later from that moment that she suffered with the stroke, she regained the movement. I lost 57 pounds the next year. And thus, you know, I started concentrating on uh, healthy eating for Canadians, producing a lot of recipes for diabetics, people with uh, celiac, Crohn, colitis uh, diseases, other autoimmune system disorders as well, including cancers, because we realized that eating for health is better than actually uh, being lost in life and uh, depending on medications or surgeries and et cetera. Okay, now so, did, you, did you need financing to start your company? And like, how did that come about? Did you, was it- well, basically I was on my feet already in 1987. I created uh, a product called uh, uh, foam uh, uh, gasket that was uh, installed on top of the floor joist before your subfloor plywood goes on it with screws so it uh, acted as an insulator sound barrier and uh, the floors didn't have any squeaks so i created a machine out of a 45 dollar uh, investment with uh, uh, gillette uh, uh, slicing blades and was cutting an inch and a half uh, 
uh, gas kits, foam gas kits, and selling it to the construction industry, construction company. That's how I basically started my uh, so-called entrepreneurial, uh, innovative uh, new product business. Then I was okay. uh, I had my own uh, construction company, did renovations. So, but my parents were out of place, so I wanted them to be involved in some kind of new venture, new business. So we put uh, sixty thousand dollars together and open uh, Rescue Bakery in North Vancouver. That's where we started in 1990. Awesome. Wow. Okay. I want you to give me a key piece of knowledge or information about your industry that our listeners can learn from. Well, the industry of food manufacturing is uh, quite challenging. Uh, we have a lot of... Uh, multicultural foods here and represented from all over the world. We've got Chinese, East Indian, European, uh, Canadian, American, uh, Western, etc. But there was no representation of uh, authentic Russian food in the 90s. So we decided, why don't we just be, we came from Russia and we used to eat piroshki and vareniki. Why can't we just uh, get the machine, modify it, build it to Canadian standards, and start making authentic uh, Russian piroshki rolls or bareniki dumplings and uh, Russian breads, etc. I had no baking experience at that moment. I did not know how to make yeast dough or uh, how to work with food manufacturing equipment. But because I'm mechanically inclined, it was kind of walking apart for me and um, made my first dough. Uh, didn't work out that well, then made another batch, another batch, tried many flowers, and eventually I, I got the recipe done. I uh, got my first products made with a variety of savory fillings, and then put the suit on, went to Costco, and uh, sold the product. Got listed in all the Costcos in uh, British Columbia, and that's how we all started. Okay, sounds good. So you're a very well-established company. What is the long-term vision and what will your company look like in the future? Do you see the company expanding into other areas and where beyond Vancouver, BC, or even Canada? Well, at the moment, we're selling our mix, a baking mix, which comes in a 20 uh, kilo sacks to five uh, bakeries already. Yeah, two bakeries in New York City, that's in Brooklyn, uh, Spring Valley. Uh, two bakeries in uh, Ontario. Uh, we sell the mix now to a very large bakery in Calgary, who in return churn our recipes and make buns and breads and sell them to co-ops. Um, we have currently two distributors as well for our products like cookies. You can see here, uh, we sell to London Drugs, uh, Bylos, uh, Nestor, Savon Foods, etc. Over 300 stores in Canada. Um, our growth is basically based on uh, the growth of uh, our clients in terms of gaining better health. We're not driven yeah. by sales. We're driven by improving Canadian health. In many people who are suffering with a lot of disorders, the key element right now is to create a lot more recipes, uh, more than 140 that we've done already, for people with different disorders and teach other bakeries and give them free recipes how to produce these uh, items and products, which we sell here in British Columbia or anywhere else. So we're in okay. an educational uh, business here. Awesome. Okay, let's talk a little bit about doing business in British Columbia and what that looks like for you. What are the biggest benefits for you and being an entrepreneur here in Vancouver, BC? I want you to give us some of the good points about starting a company here, but I also want you to give us some of the tough things or challenges for our listeners so they can keep an eye out for them. Well, let's start with the negative of any business. It doesn't matter which business you go into. Sometimes you're underfunded. Sometimes you have barriers. In order to sell the product, you have to hit 100 call calls to get one maybe meeting. So it's numbers games. It's not uh, up to the product that you make. It's up to your agility, your persistence, and believing in yourself and the products and the services that you represent to, to the clients. And um, uh, in many cases, even if you get into a lot of store chains, let's say it's a deli item and we've been there, 
Sometimes the product after 10 years can be delisted because they don't have enough cooler space. So all of a sudden, your efforts, your machinery that you invested into, your money, your marketing goes down to zero sales. That you cannot predict. Just like we never predicted what has COVID done to the world. So there, there are a lot of uh, unpredictable factors in business. You can only rely on yourself that the day provides 24 hours. If the worst scenario comes and you lose part of your business or your sales, you can always skip a few nights of sleep, rethink your strategy, create something new and innovative or a new product line and hit the market again. Basically, you have to make yourself as an industrial rumba. They can hit you, you can fall down, but you get up the next day, put the smile on, create the product, you live in a product and services, and go and sell the product to other customers. That's basically okay. what we've been doing for many years. Okay, I want you to imagine now that you just moved here from, say, Russia. If you were to start all over again and you just moved here to Vancouver, BC, but this time you don't know anyone, knowing what you know now, what would you do and how would you go about starting all over again as an entrepreneur? Well, basically, I experienced being an entrepreneur in Italy when we were waiting for four and a half months to get our visas to get into Canada. I didn't speak any Italian. We were there without any money with my parents and my sister. And I was selling uh, Russian semi-automatic uh, cameras to Italians on San Giovanni Market in Italian. In 30 days, I learned enough Italian to sell Russian cameras and uh, mini miniature TVs to Italians in Italian. So I realized the best skill or advice to any entrepreneur in any country, Canada included, it's not what you do. It's how good you communicate about your product, about your services, and how you feel that niche, that you're better than anybody else on the market with what you're presenting to the client. So my advice to anybody who wants to start a business or a new immigrant in Canada is they have to believe in themselves. They have to learn the language that people, your consumers speak and convey the message explicitly to the clients and convince them that the product that you're offering is very unique, it fills the niche and solves problems. So in any business, if you solve somebody's problems, money follow you. So it's not about the profitability of the business, it's not about marketability of your products. It's about how good are you in problem solving in the market that you place yourself into with any business you want to start. Okay. Do you think entrepreneurs have to be weird or unique in a positive way or are wired differently? I believe they're survivors. I believe they've been beaten up in battles in life. I think, you know, you've got to have a lot of humor mixed with a lot of anger. And you've got to believe in the future. And in a way, you've got to live in the future, believe in your dreams. And whatever you've got to do today to make that dream happen, you adjust accordingly every day based on the flow, based on the weather, based on the market conditions. And diversity of your knowledge is uh, much required. It's not if you're a great plumber and you just do plumbing because you're competing in the field of many plumbers. Even if you create an innovate or invent a product and you want to sell it to the market, to let's say lumber yards or Home Depot, uh, the key uh, behind any entrepreneur, you have to be a wide scope, knowledgeable person about finances, about banking, about uh, mortgages, uh, dead load, about risk factors, about uh, capacity of the market, saturation of the market, and what, whether your product fits uh, in the market or not. And being able to actually, if the product you selected is wrong, for the time that you created it for, drop it, start something new. Be not afraid to cut your losses and start something new. Defeat okay. is a victory. Canada's Trade Accelerator Program is presented by the World Trade Center Vancouver. 
It provides entrepreneurs access to Canada's top exporting advisors, resources, and contacts, and gives the ongoing training needed to become a successful export trader. Go to www.wtcvancouver.ca slash tap and find out more. What books are you reading now and why are even audiobooks? And can you recommend any books for our listeners who are all so aspiring entrepreneurs? So basically, well, how do you educate biggest yourself? Biggest recommendation, there are about 8 billion books that a lot of people have not read. They're called Human Lives. The reason why we excel here at Red Square or Powerflux Holdings, that we have a walk-in bakery, retail, and we talk to each life, new customer. It's like a book we've never read. We have even a lounge with a billiard table, couch, and a chair where we sit down with a person who is having some autoimmune system disorders or wishes to lose up to 100 pounds or has cardiovascular system disorders, digestive disorders. And uh, we, we talk about life. We talk about where these people come from, what their habits are, uh, are uh, what they eat, what uh, they ate that was wrong for their health. So basically, it's a self-learning journey based on the stories that I've heard from thousands of people in Canada or anywhere else in the world. So your, your customer is your education. Okay. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what you do to balance work and, and work-life balance. How do you relax and not think about work? And what are your favorite activities to do here in BC? Do you ski, do you bike, kayak, golf, hike, or simply go for a drive? Basically, I go at four o'clock in the morning. I come to my bakery. I live just four minutes away uh, on a hill in South uh, Burnaby. So this is my second home. Actually, there's no difference between my home and the business. I don't even uh, feel that I'm coming to work. So I preheat my sauna, infrared sauna. I pre-make uh, lemon water. And I go there for three, four hours. Basically, I do sit-ups. I do dumbbells. I'll watch uh, news networks, uh, financial news. I bring my phone wrapped in plastic, so it still works. My emails, I talk to my clients in Toronto, in New York. Little they know that I'm basically in a sauna doing business. And then when I come out, my guys already are baking and making cookies and breads and everything else. And then I go to the office, produce packing slips, invoices, talk to buyers, etc. do the sales. So my life, whether it's in the sauna, whether it's in the office, or in the store facing customers and asking them about life and health, it's, uh, it's, it, it's quite diverse. And whether it's 12-hour day or four-hour day, we still complete everything that we need to with the help of people that uh, work with us here. Okay. If you were doing what you do now, what would you like to do for a profession? Uh, again, repeat that. If you weren't doing what you're doing now at Red Square, what would you like to do for a profession? Something that's completely different. What would it be? Well, basically, my dream was to become a surgeon at the age of 16. So unfortunately, due to some circumstances, it, don't, it, it didn't come to fruition. But now, Basically, I am an advisor to people to fix their health. So God somehow saved me from construction, took me out of construction, put me into baking, and now I'm providing my products, Powerflux products, low-carb keto, to obesity clinics in Toronto, to obesity clinics in uh, British Columbia, to companies like PharmaSafe, and it's if I if somebody told me in 19, um, 1979 when I came to Canada that I'm going to be healing people with food, I would say you're crazy. That's impossible. So it's a quite an interesting journey and a great karma that whatever my dreams were when I was 16 to become a doctor, I am helping people and saving lives right now with the products that I invented. I so, heard I was yeah I was heard listening to a podcast once and uh, apparently doctors surgeons uh, have you know like ten years of education plus but realistically they only spend like two weeks studying food. Yes, that's it's not really enough. interesting. Is you know you got ten years of being a, learning to be a doctor, 
but two weeks of that is is understanding food and what what what's good for the body, which is real interesting, I think. You know, well, you so see, important. you are what you eat, uh, and yeah. a lot of our products are nutraceutical. They have a lot of protein, and we work with flux like nobody's business. It's the best seed in the world, five thousand years old, never been genetically modified. So power flux predominantly is made out of flux and has no flour, doesn't require sugar in uh, yeast dough fermentation, just salt, water, and yeast makes a perfect dough. We make uh, bread out of it, cinnamon buns, et cetera, with the best parameters, cookies, waffles. But when you eat our products, what happens with your digestive system? It's got a lot of soluble and soluble fiber, so it cleans your bilites. 80% of uh, all sicknesses arise from bad digestive system. God gave us a 36 uh, foot uh, long colon. So a lot of biochemical processes happen there or don't happen. Some people are not pervious to absorb the vitamins and nutrients from the food they ingest. Most of the foods these days, the Western cuisine, it's fast food. It has preservatives. It has a lot of fat. It has no fiber. It has no omega-3 fatty acids. So it's the uh, uh, people deplete themselves of nutrients and develop a lot of autoimmune system disorders. So it's not just hereditary. So okay. we're privileged that we utilize nutrition and educate people how to eat, how to think about your body as a high rise. And if you have radicals and tenants living in your high rise and not paying you rent, evict them, flush them out. Okay. In business, what is your favorite word, quote, or sentence that you like to use? Basically, it's like this. If you save one life, you save the world. The okay. feeling like is unbelievable, and I've experienced it many times. Okay. What's your least favorite word or sentence you do not like to hear? What, what is the least word? Favorite word or sentence you don't like to hear? Like, uh, come and see smoke. me next year. We're too busy. <laughs> Oh, okay. okay. If you had to pick one or two words to describe yourself, what would it be and why? Listener. You're a listener? Yes. Okay. That's how you uh, listen to your customer. That's a good thing to know. Okay. Anything that is keeping you up at night? Yes. Uh, creativity. It's a nasty, nasty thing to have. Because creativity. Creativity, yes. When you are creative type, when inventive type, and I have a very good 3D vi uh, vision, and I see a product, or I see how it can help a human being, I will not sleep. I will create a recipe in my brain, and the next morning, I'm going to execute it at the business. Okay. I want you to give us the top three, three things on your inspired life list. This could be traveling more, philanthropy, writing a book about yourself, your business. Um, anything in particular that, like, that you'd like to do beyond Red Square for, as an inspired life list? Go back to Russia. It's very, travel. very simple. I mean, very simple. The best things to do, of course, traveling is, is fun. Uh, trying different uh, cuisines is great because uh, there's one common denominator that we all forgot or we missed to rely on in the world. Uh, we may not agree politically, but we always agree on great food. So it's nice to experience other people's foods. And food is a, is a vehicle of delivering love and compassion for a person that you've never met. And if we share food and we enjoy it together, we can come to peace with everybody in the world. So that's one of my passions is cooking, creating recipes, traveling. And of course, uh, saving the world and making the world better, uh, saving the forest, saving the animals, and uh, just making people to understand that your life can be taken away just like that by some health disorder. So value yeah. every day as a gift. Don't argue with your destiny. Destiny is given to us and it's very adverse and very different. Some people are luckier than others, but don't cry over it. Reach out and help somebody who is in much more need than you are today. That's what kind of, I live yeah. for. Kind of like saving the world one bite at a time. One life at a time. One bite at a time. 
Oh, one bite. Yes. Yeah, yeah. sure. And let it be the healthiest bite in the yeah, world. And they come to Red Square. Okay, cool. Exactly. Uh, do you have any advice that you may have received that you can pass on to entrepreneurs throughout Canada? Well, when I was 16 and uh, one of my friends, he survived being in the Lithuanian forest, um, escaping and hiding from German soldiers. And he gave me an advice that uh, when he found out we've got visas to immigrate uh, from uh, Lithuania, he spoke four languages. And he told me, Mark, I'm going to give you one hint how to become successful. If English language has 500,000 words, pretend each word you learn and memorize is a dollar in your bank account. It stuck with me. So the better you communicate, the better you learn the language of the country you live in, the more marketable you become. Okay. That's good for anyone, for people in Canada, as well as people that want to come to Canada. So I think that's some really good advice there. Okay, Mark, you ready to have some fun? Yes. Okay. We're going to, as you know, you are a very busy person. You have a, a quite a schedule. Uh, like you said, you start your mornings at 4 a.m. and, and uh, you're always working. But we want to take you away from all that. There's a small tropical island just off of Fiji. It only has one phone booth there. There is no internet. This place does exist. We're going to drop you off there on the boat. We won't, you won't have a computer or smartphone or a tablet. You can use the phone booth located there anytime to call the boat and we'll come pick you up. How long would you last before you made that call? And what would you do while you were there? Well, put it this way. When you take communication away and you're alone with nature, all you've got to do is go back to where you come from. I mean, your life is a miracle in itself. Being together with trees, with water, being on the island, observing the birds, is probably the best getaway, the best relaxation that somebody can give me. So I would cherish that for as long as I can, you allow me to stay on the island, providing okay. I have some food. If I don't have some Oh, yeah, food, you'll have food. There's just no oh, internet. So that's, you can't. It. that's perfect. No I'll be a happy camper. A, no red square. If you'll get the no red square, you know. nothing. Because <laughs> you see, when I'm in my own dwelling, called my own brain, my own thinking. It is part of that new rejuvenation of new beginning. You become younger, you become stronger. And I'll be exercising on the island, doing push-ups, sit-ups, etc. So I'll find a way. Or swimming in the cold ocean, because I love cold water. It tempers my spirit, my character, and makes me a strong believer. That future is hot and bright. So we'll be waiting there for a couple of weeks, I suspect. That's fine. A couple of weeks, we'll get the call? Sure, but I, I have to alert my wife that that's where <laughs> okay, I am. You, you, can, you, oh, you can bring her with you. So there you go. Okay, well, okay Mark, fun. we're going to wrap things up here. How can our listeners get hold of you? And is there anything you'd like to add before you leave us today? All they have to do is Google Red Square Bakery, and we're a Canadian establishment. And if they have problems, they can just phone us and we'll solve them. And there is no charge for consultation. They can just come, walk in, drive in, right into the bakery, announce that they're coming, and we'll discuss it. And we'll give awesome. them the regimen. One of the regimen is just eating a lot of fiber. 10 cups of water with lemon juice. You can eat the carb. You can still lose the weight. Or ketogenic, beautiful regimen for people with other immune system disorders. So if somebody is suffering with cancer, diabetes, Crohn's colitis, diverticulitis, they better come here and start sampling our products or using them in their, in their daily regimen. And I guess if they live in Ontario or Alberta, they can get your products as well. Right. They can get our products in Ontario Nutrition Aid, Obesity Clinics, uh, go see Dr. Poon. Um, he's very knowledgeable, published three books. Uh, Local Grocery, that's an online uh, retailer, sells our products. So our products are available in Canada. Or they can just order from us some non-perishable we ship through Canada Post as well. Awesome. Okay, Mark, thanks for coming on the show. I've learned a lot about you, and I'm sure. Our Thank you so much, Robert. Well. You're great at what you do. 
Thank you very much. Okay, thank awesome. you. Have a fantastic okay. day. For BC entrepreneurs, Canada's Trade Accelerator Program has been successfully operated by the World Trade Center Vancouver since 2017. The Trade Accelerator Program gives BC-based businesses the training and support needed to become a successful exporter. Go to www.wtcvancouver.ca slash tap and find out more.